After years of violent struggle against the Italian colonizers, Libya became a battlefield once again in 1940, when Italian forces clashed with the British and their allies. Then in February 1941, the Führer sent one of his favorite commanders, Erwin Rommel, to lead the newly formed Deutsches Afrika Corps. He was to help the Italians defend against the British. That was all. Less than a year later, the British were in retreat, and Rommel was driving the Afrika Corps towards Benghazi and my home. This is our chance. Italian troops have the attention of British forces up ahead. Thanks to their efforts, we seem to have arrived unnoticed, but they will not hold on much longer. The British have fought valiantly, but this mistake will cost them the battle. It is time they learn to never take their eyes off Deutsches Afrika Corps. Panzers, with me! Push forward! Hello guys, and welcome to the here. Africa campaign in Company of Heroes 3. I'm Vulcan, and today we're going to be starting with the first mission here. Fire smoke canisters to cover our advance. Got a couple of Panzer threes that are going to absolutely obliterate a Humber to get us started. Lovely. The British anti-tank gun is a formidable threat. Eliminate. Right, let's get our smoke down that it is prompting us to use. I'm going to smoke off the anti-tank gun there, I'm going to smoke off the Matilda. We'll move forward and use an anti-infantry grenade just to get them off the AT gun there. Hopefully that's enough. It is. Oh, something blew up next to it. <laughs> that guy got sniped on the way out. Okay. Well, let's go eliminate this Stuart. I also do have the Haftalagen on these Panzergrens, so we could use that. And that is one tank down. Let's see if we can go deal with this Matilda. Nice. Good kill. We'll go capture the strategic point here. It looks like there's more units that we can take out on this side. I can use my Panzer III for cover, which is really cool. So we're going to move up my Panzer guns behind the Panzer III. And we'll let them finish capping that and then we'll come back. I just need to get rid of this mortar. It's doing a lot of damage. A swift and decisive strike. I would expect nothing less of the Africa Corps. However, the enemy is sure to send in a counterattack. Be prepared. Return to headquarters and deploy additional troops immediately. We will show the British, the Italian, and even Berlin, who is the true authority when it comes to desert warfare. Engines running. Medium Panzer is ready. I have studied the enemy lines and detected a weak point where our Italian allies continued to distract the British attacking from the east. We will take them by surprise by storming in and capturing two key locations. The eastern trench network, which currently prevents us from pushing northward, and the fuel depot to the northeast, which is sure to prove a vital source of support for our armed forces. We are to flank and entrap the British, then eliminate whatever troops remain before they even think of withdrawing to Benghazi. And once they do attempt a retreat, it will be too late. The Afrika Corps will be waiting for them. Looks like we're moving on to our base here. Take Wonderful. Let's go capture these munitions. The Pump out some Panzergrens. So it looks like we're being told to do that anyway. 
and uh, we'll also grab the LEIG. The LEIG, nice long range HE support. The recovery truck allows us to strengthen our forces by restoring disabled vehicles. I see both a Sturmgeschütz assault gun and a Panzer with a flame projector in need of repairs. Either would be greatly useful if restored. I'm going to put the light machine gun into the Panzergun squad. Uh, we need to use this recovery half track to grab one of these. So we'll go get the Stug 3. Bam Panzer could be fun as well, but I think we can potentially get both. Hopefully we can. Meanwhile, we'll start moving up. It looks like we're currently cut off here for the time being, so we'll just watch the half track recover this charred wreck. I do think this is quite a cool mechanic, especially in single player. I am a bit worried that it won't be as useful in multiplayer, but hey, there we go. Now use the recovery vehicle to fully repair our salvage. Remember, our goal is to flank the British and cut off their escape. To achieve that, we must capture two locations, the trenches and the fuel refinery. Uh, the LEIG. Uh, oh, get that machine gun, please. Meanwhile, those poor <laughs> infantry are getting annihilated. Looks like we can also bring in a L640 light tank combat group, which is cool. Or the Gusatori. Let's bring in the L6 first. And then we'll bring in the Gusatori afterwards. The IG able to hit that? The B. And that's ready to go. So we need 204 manpower to recover the Panzer 3. Might be worth putting a flamethrower on this pioneer squad actually, so we'll select that, get the upgrade going. And we'll pop a grenade on these just to get rid of them. Oh, they just ran back onto it. <laughs> that was a perfect grenade. Okay, here's my L6s. And it looks like we'll be able to get that Flampanza online. Lovely. Okay, let's carry on. I'm actually going to pick up this machine gun with the Panzer Pioneer squad. And we can have both of those pulled back. And we'll jump into this building. So it looks like we need to capture that sector. But with any luck, we'll be okay in our building here because we do have enemy artillery coming in. Well, that is guards in there with the bazookas. Got to be a little bit careful. The L6s, though, can go ruin the infantry section here in the meantime. Oh, they just got in that building as well. And just as it fell down. Oh, they got out just in time. The guards went with it, but otherwise all good. Oh, <laughs> that was a disgusting animation. I got brutalized. Okay, let's not forget my LEIG. Will definitely be useful. And hopefully... Oh, we can't get that back because we have a population cap of 20. Oh, 70, sorry. Not 20. 
Now we've reached our pop cap. Let's just make sure we fix that up. So I can't get an extra man into the Panzer Grand Squad now. So I have to be a little bit careful. Just keep pushing forwards. See what we find. Oh, that's uh, an AT gun. Let's move away from that. Thank you very much. We will indirect fire it with the IG. And we'll put my MG in the ruins here. It's also saying to convert this to an 8th post, so we'll do that. Oh, that's good. The machine gun has line of sight. Oh, yeah, speaking of machine guns, the enemy have a machine gun as well. On we go. Destroyed. Oh, this stage of the map, we should be going this way towards the objective. But we did find some foot guards here, so we'll take them out very quickly, apparently. Wonderful. Okay, up we go here. We'll bring our MG with us. We'll bring the IG. We'll bring both of these. I think that is everything for now. I could pick up the boys AT rifle here, but I don't think we need it. I'll have my half track repair my Panzer III. And we'll have the Flam Panzer III. Move forwards with my Panzer Pioneers. Stay alert. I see mine markers nearby. Fortunately, with the right equipment, our resourceful Panzer Pioneers can detect mines and defuse them. Time to sacrifice my Panzer Pioneers so we can recruit some ones with Minesweepers. <laughs> How much do I need to bring those in? I need four population. Okay, we might sacrifice my MG as well because we do have the But we will have the population cap if they are dead. And I want to generally keep my armor. If the MGs on the tanks and stuff are going to be probably more useful than an MG team itself. So we'll just let this die. There we go. Panzer Pioneer on the way. And we can have all of these move up. Soon these will come and do the job. Okay, let's go and get the Panzer Grands onto the objective to capture it. Flam Panzer can move up. And the other way that we could do this is just have one of my tanks drive onto the mines on purpose and then just fix up my tank. But that seems a little counterproductive. My Panzer 3 has a lot of work to do here. The only one with significant AP. Excellent. We have the trenches. Now act fast and push north before the British can respond. We're getting the hazard removal kit so that we can see and get rid of those mines. An 88 mm anti tank gun is being towed to our location. Deploy it near the trenches to prepare for an armored assault. We shall use its firepower to crush our enemy's tanks. Right, let's put the MG42 on the Stug 3. 
Or we can actually change these L640s to flame tanks. That's cool. We'll bring our truck in with the flak ATA. Uh, meanwhile, let's get those to fix things up for us. And we'll get my half track up to help with that endeavor as well. Ooh. That somehow managed to hit them. Only mine. <laughs> okay, we'll bring this back just in case there's another mine. I don't want to lose the truck. <laughs> We do have 100 cap now. So we can actually bring in some more stuff. It's going to take a little while for that to be towed. Let's carry on up the road here. Make sure that we're clear of mines. Assign troops to the anti-tank gun and face it north to provide the British with a proper welcome. We need work and we need leave. We can't the Flak 26 is ready to go. We'll just reverse this lot so that that can help us out. Get my L6 all the way back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Takes a while to turn around, but when it hits, damn, that does damage. We have repair work. What's the work? Get to it. Get moving. Quick march. Punch three is in. Try we'll get there. Engines running. Let's push forwards. Let's move. Get on with it. Lump Panzer has moved orders. Lump Panzer has moved orders. Firing position. Flam Panzer. Gonna absolutely annihilate those Gurkhas. Very good. Right, that truck is a bit toasty, but it's alright. <laughs> oh, looks like we're shooting down that plane. Where's it gonna land? Blew up over here somewhere. Onwards we go. We'll bring the 88 with us. Not sure if we're supposed to leave it here, to be honest, but I'll unload it again. It seems like more armor is still coming in. Now push up onto the other side. Bring our Panzer Grenz with us. And the LEIG. Let's bring this with us. We're probably going to need it if they're going to focus on armor here. And my L6 is to flank. I'll bring this L6 back because 
in a bit of a pickle on its own. This is so brutal against infantry, it's not even fair. Oh, look at that, the MG is attacking the aircraft. That's cool. I guess we could just unload this for a second, just to make sure that that aircraft is shot down. Are we going to go and annihilate them now? I anticipate the British will attempt to withdraw to the northwest. We, of course, cannot allow that to happen. There is a village nearby. Capture it and blockade the road to cut the enemy's escape route. Bring in a strafe and run there, see how much damage we can do with that. The anti tank gun must be properly positioned to defend the roads to the village against the British assault. That came in very quickly. Much faster than I expected it would. That was really good. We've got a long way to go. Uh, can we upgrade this one to be a retreat point or this one? No, we can't. I will take that fuel point and we'll carry on. I need to clean out whatever's down here. So we'll go and do that. Play it inside that train? That's so cool. Yeah, they are ambushing us from inside there. Play them out, boys. Just gonna unload this temporarily. They are taken care of. Let's get them back to full strength. Drop down the aircraft. Jolly good. And it doesn't look like there's much else there to deal with, so. We will move towards the final objective. I will bring in some more troops just because we do have the cap to do so. I think just more infantry in general would be a good idea. We'll grab a Panzer Pioneer that can run over here. And I'll give these the breakthrough package, which gives them two flamethrowers. And we'll move on towards the next objective. That is an AT gun, but we do have a flamethrower, so we should just be able to overpower it. And with that dead, let's go ahead and put our. 88 there. Did we not end up capturing this? I must have moved my infantry away by accident before it was capped. It's okay. Make sure to kill the Humber armored car. The Flak 36 is a powerful addition to our long-range arsenal. We can tow it using our utility truck, 
and use our mobile squads to find targets for you. I advise we set up the flux exon devices to cover the roads leading into the village. One step ahead of you, Rommel. You're already there. Oh, we won't put my truck right here, though. That's a bad idea. These planes coming in, getting smashed by the Flag 36. Could do another strafing run here, just to get rid of that AT gun. Bring my Panzer 3 down here to engage the Crusader. Well, that that just killed the... Wow. Yeah, that killed the Crusader. Not expect that. And since we can't see what's behind this wall, I'm just going to send my Gustatori and a couple of L6s around there so we can capture that fuel. Uh, but we need to just get into the town, really, so uh, let's just finish things off over here. These civilians might want to get out the way. Destroyed. Okay. Let's move up the road here. Clear out that MG. Perfect. And with that, we have control of the village. All that is left now is to intercept and destroy the retreating troops. Set up defenses here, or take up positions along the main road. But do not let them escape. Where are they coming from? Are they coming from the left over here? I assume they are. That's destination, so I guess they're coming in from the other way. All right, let's get set up. Uh, one of these, actually both of these should just be in the same place. One to deal with the infantry, one to deal with the armor. They're coming from the southeast, yeah. They're perfectly in their way, that's good. Let's just get the... RNG in the correct place. We'll put it over here. Can I move this? If I can. I want this over here somewhere. Can. Brilliant. Our fuel point is being neutralized by the enemy. The boxes, but we have a heading. The British troops are approaching. Let us show them the power of the Africa Corps. All right, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Strafing run. <laughs> Annihilated. There's another wall of armor waiting for them. Let's fix up the Stug and the L6 while we're here. Oh, that's nice of them. The AI is just repairing everything. Probably move back slightly, or at least away from that artillery. Get 
Okay. Well, the AT gun got unmanned. I couldn't get it back to full strength in time, but at least we can get our Gustatoli back into full strength. Well, those guys who are repping just got annihilated by the airburst. That's right on top of my LEIG. Oh, and that's going right on top of my plaque. Hopefully, we'll be able to get these back to full strength using the truck. Let's move this back to the Black 36 so that we can heal them up and get them back to full strength as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it has a heal on it, so I can only use it to reinforce and not much else. Both of these doing very well on the veterancy, at least. I'm going to attack ground here so that it turns around and is ready to go. We need work and we need leave. What will it be? Does 16 out of 18 squads. Let's go see if we can find these squads. Yeah, there we go. Enemy forces eliminated. Exemplary work, Africa Corps. We got him. That last kill there shooting that officer in the back was brutal. And that's it, it seems, for mission one of the Africa campaign. We'll leave it here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. In Benghazi, we'd been pulled back and forth between the Italians, the Germans, and the British for over two years. We navigated occupied life as best we could, siding with whoever was holding the city at the time. It was safer that way. But then Mussolini began forcing Jews in other parts of Libya to move to Benghazi. Some friends, men I'd grown up with, wanted me to join them and fight alongside the British army. I didn't want to leave my family, but I couldn't just sit around and hope the war wouldn't touch us.